What up Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Now I know that a lot of y'all out there were interested and maybe even have already done so uh, in the Pretty Guardians fan club membership which is available internationally if you don't live in Japan as well as there's a Japanese membership too for people that do reside in Japan. Since this year I have actually subscribed to both of those versions of the membership. I first subscribed to the international version because well, it was the one that was available to me here in America. And then I subscribed to the Japanese one because I figured out how to get a Japanese address. And then I went through that whole slew to sign up with a Japanese fan club uh, account. So now I have both of them and I figured I could tell you what the pros and cons are of both the international and the Japanese versions of the membership are. So first things first, I wanted to give you some background on what the Pretty Guardians membership is. Uh, once you sign up for a Pretty Guardians fan club account, it costs about 50 bucks. And if you are renewing from a previous year, they usually end up giving you not only a sign up gift, but also a renewal gift. So for example, this year, the sign up gift was the watch, which is based on the communicator watch that they use on Sailor Moon. But they will also be sending out a renewal gift, which is the Nakayoshi um, Furoku set which is basically like a stationary set. Each of the fan clubs both entitle you to uh, getting invited to things like events. Uh, if you show your card at specific events, then you will get access to like discounts or maybe freebies or special limited edition items that you can't get outside of the fan club. Both the international and Japanese fan clubs also entitle you to a membership card, which is a nice plastic card that you can show at these different kinds of events. And once you actually sign up, they usually start shipping out the membership cards and the sign up gift around November or December timeframes. I know that Japanese memberships get theirs earlier. That's why I already have a bracelet, even though they haven't started shipping in America yet, because this is from the Japanese fan club. Uh, and then the American fan club or international fan club, they usually end up getting the gifts around the December timeframe. So I think last year it was very, very close to Christmas that I got my sign up and renewal gift. A lot of people find that the international membership is actually kind of a waste of money because the items that you are able to get access to on there are so very limited. There's only a few items that you gain access to every year. And the item that they send out usually feels like it might be less than what you paid for the price of the membership. I personally think it's worth it because I don't get access necessarily to those items in Japan and a lot of other people don't either. So it's nice to have a international version that costs the same amount that you would pay for the Japanese membership, that whole 50 bucks. And you also get a nice thing like this, this bracelet. And if you renew, you get another gift and you get access to all those other items. Now I'm a merch girl. I don't necessarily care about the news information because somebody's going to repost news on Instagram and Twitter anyway. So if you give me access to news or a digital volume online, that doesn't matter to me. If you give me access to limited edition merchandise from Sailor Moon, that does matter to me more because I can't get access to that outside of, you know, the Sailor Moon fan club. So where do you sign up for the fan club? Well, you can go over to the website called Pretty Guardians. It's prettyguardians.com. Uh, this is where you can sign up for both the international or Japanese fan clubs. If you're international, you can also sign up over at Tokyo Otaku Mode, which is otakumode.com. Now, both of these have already stopped taking reservations for the third year of the fan club, uh, but they will start up in a new cycle next year for 2019. Now, according to Tokyo Otaku Mode, the international fan club version will get access to a digital newsletter issued four times a year, exclusive pre-sale ticket purchasing access, purchase of limited goods, and they only release like three or four limited edition goods every year, which is not very much for the international fan club. Uh, and then you get special benefits in some events in relation to Sailor Moon, invitation to Sailor Moon events, which there are not very many international events anyway, so you're not going to get invited to a lot of those unless you get to go to Japan all the time. Member exclusive purchases for limited edition goods, again those are very limited. Discounted price for tickets to special exhibitions, member exclusive video contents, which also could end up being reshared on YouTube, special bonus award for members that show their membership card at fan club related events and stores, 
uh, and then member exclusive bonuses for purchase of Sailor Moon pre-order items for applicable items only. They also make a disclaimer that says, Sailor Moon collaboration promotions refer to offline promotional events within Japan. All above member benefits are in the planning stage and subject to change without prior notice. So you're not necessarily going to get access to all of these with the international version. So that, my friends, is why I prefer just signing up straight through prettyguardians.com, getting myself a Japanese address, and signing up as if I reside in Japan so that I have access to the Japanese version of Pretty Guardians fan club. Now again, in order to be able to do that, you have to access the website in Japanese, in the Japanese language, and then you have to sign up with a Japanese address. Now you can put in an additional international address as well. They don't mind that, uh, but I would highly recommend having a Japanese address because if you don't, I don't think you would get access to the Japanese fan club. But the nice thing that I have noticed about the Japanese fan club is that straight through prettyguardians.com, you get access to a goods page, but their good page gives you access to a whole bunch of limited edition items that you can only purchase through that page. Uh, the page is in partnership with a company called King's Records, I think it's called, but you check out through their form basically, but everything that you wanna purchase is on prettyguardians.com. Now they also have a secret premium Bandai secret site. I've had issues with this one. While I can access it through the Japanese fan club, I can't buy anything because it won't accept my address. Uh, the premium Bandai website has told me that the address that I put in has already been used for an account on their site and they don't accept multiple accounts for the same address. And since I use a warehouse address because I'm using one of those uh, forwarding addresses, then I can't sign up on premium Bandai and buy anything on there. So I still have to go through a proxy shipper who also has a fan club membership and buy things through them instead for premium Bandai. But since I do have that Japanese fan club, that means that I also get access to these physical uh, fan club special issues. These are like cute little mini magazines that they send out quarterly, I believe. And I also get access to the gifts that they send out earlier than you would with the international editions. Now, since I have that Japanese fan club account, I also get access to all those events that they have like special access just for fan club members and stuff like that. Uh, so I do get emails inviting me to those events, but I'm just like, I can't go. I'm in America, not in Tokyo. So that's kind of a bummer as well. You don't actually get access to everything in Japan that you would in if you were living in Tokyo. So I still think that if you're living internationally and if you do sign up with the Japanese fan club, you're still not getting everything that you should have access to. Uh, I think that we do still miss out on quite a few things and I don't think that, um, you know, the companies that are in charge of Sailor Moon, whoever they might be out there, I don't think they necessarily understand or appreciate the international fans of the show as much as they try to focus really on, on the Japanese fans. Um, so whenever I go to Japan, I've been there twice already, I've gotten to see like how much appreciation they have for the Japanese fan members, especially because there's so many events that happen in Japan, but we really don't get that much. So that is one reason why I'm entirely grateful that I do have a proxy shipper who has a fan club membership as well. And I have a friend over there that has a fan club membership. So I'm able to get access to items uh, from them that I wouldn't necessarily be able to, to get access to over here. But do I think that Japanese fan club membership is worth it? If I was to choose, yes, I would choose the Japanese fan club over the international version just because you get access to that online store, those physical volumes, and you get access to everything, all the physical products like this gift before they come out internationally. And that way, if you do go to Japan, you're guaranteed access to discounts, to events, to special exhibits or whatever might else happen in Japan, which you wouldn't necessarily get access to if you just had the international fan club version and you went to pay a visit in Japan. Oh, and last thing I wanted to mention too, I did mention that you have access to limited edition items with the international fan club, but not all of the limited edition items for the Japanese fan club come out for the international store. So there might be something that comes out in the Japanese fan club that you see on Twitter or something like that, and you never get access to it on the international edition, which is a huge bummer. 
Now I do fully intend to sign up for an account on the Japanese fan club next year as well. So if you want me to, when that time comes around, I can do a walkthrough and show y'all how I did it so that you could totally do it too. Now it does mean that if you purchase items from the Japanese fan club through their e-commerce store, then you will have to pay the shipping internationally, which does get expensive, but hey, you get access. And that's something that you don't necessarily get internationally. So let me know what you think about this long-winded video, which is more of just like an overview of the pros and cons of these two different versions of the same fan club. I think they should just combine all of them into the same fan club and treat them all the same, but unfortunately they don't do that. Comment below let me know what you think about the fan clubs for Sailor Moon and if it's something that they should just nix or they should keep around or if they should just combine them together like merge them into one like I think they should or whatever your thoughts are let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy Sailor Moon as much as I do again my name is Sailor Snubs thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time Johnny